In the series of videos, we have been discussing about the eukaryotic DNA replication, its initiation and elongation. Now, in this video, we will be discussing about the termination of DNA replication in eukaryotes. The termination of DNA replication in eukaryotes is very different than prokaryotes and it is easily managed in eukaryotes. Because in prokaryotes, we have circular DNA and the replication fork needs to be stopped. But in eukaryotes, we have a DNA molecule in a linear fashion as shown in the diagram. These two strands are running parallel to each other in opposite directions. So most of the time the replication is terminated when two replication forks counter each other in a process of replisome converging. In this diagram you can see the MCM complex that is the helicase in eukaryotes. With this helicase there are other proteins associated with it in the form of CMG complex which we have not shown here in this diagram because we have to deal with MCM complex mostly for the termination of replication. Now in this diagram we have shown the two helicases, two MCM complexes approaching each other. Because in eukaryotes we have different RS sites, we have lots of RS sites where the replication begins. That's why there are numerous MCM complexes replicating the DNA molecule. Now let's focus on the DNA ends. We see in the upper right corner we have a DNA strand with three prime end or three terminus end. On that strand, a primer is added in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction, so that we are left with pre 3 hydroxyl end. This 3' terminus end will be extended by polymerases in the form of leading strand. And in the same way, on the lower left corner, we have same thing going on, where a primer is added and the 3' terminus hydroxyl end is extended in the leading strand synthesis. So this is the leading strand synthesis first. Furthermore, we have lagging strand synthesis where multiple primers are added to provide three hydroxyl ends for DNA polymerases continuously, leading to synthesis of DNA strands in the form of Okazaki fragments. So this concludes the elongation of DNA molecule. Now at some point the two MCM complex converge and we need this replication to go off. So for that purpose we have SCF E3 ubiquitin ligase complex. The SCF is the SKP CDC53 Culin a box protein. This protein comes in and catalyzes the ubiquitination of MCM protein on its seventh protein. So MCM gets polyubiquinated on its lysine residues called the K48 ubiquitin chain. K is the symbol for lysine and this K48 ubiquitination chain is mostly takes the protein for degradation by proteasomes. But in this case the ubiquinated protein is not degraded because here the ubiquinated protein is instantly recognized by P97 protein which is a protein remodeler. The P97 is the transitional endoplasmic reticulum ATPase also known as velocine containing protein VCP. This is the segregase protein or segregase enzyme which has the function to segregate the complex proteins. And in here it causes the disassembly of active MCM complex means it segregates the MCM complex. So with this the helicase complex that is the CMG complex is no more in its active bound state and all its cofactors and other proteins are removed from the DNA strand thus terminating the DNA replication. Here you can see these MCM complex or the helicase complex are removed of the strands and we get the DNA replication terminated. So this is all about replication termination in eukaryotes. And it also concludes the three major steps of DNA replication. All the previous videos, initiation and elongation are linked in the description below. I hope you like the video. If you do so, then hit like, subscribe and do consider supporting on Patreon to get more videos like that. Thanks.